word torment uh -huh. and when you look at the word there in fire brimstone all of that stuff brimstone is a was actually the, the word for a touchstone that tested them to see whether they were pure like gold it was used to test gold see the word mm -hmm. brimstone is the word theos which is presence of god when you look at what? it and the word brimstone. for torment, yeah brimstone that's what the word meant the, the the if you look at the word and the the uh, actual word for brimstone actually the word is theos in the interlinear and if you look at the word for torment it's testing so the word for torment was a touchstone that tested the purity it wasn't about tormenting anybody it was testing pe things people have taken very much um sort of language of today and try to understand greek and understand what it meant in greek and and to be honest it, it doesn't mean those things which have been translated into english because of a wrong understanding and uh, unfortunately the understanding has has sort of been written from a modern perspective uh, the word tormented there is banastianatonai and that is what was done as a touchstone um and then you got some things in there you've got things that are actually not even in the original language so if you read that if you read it in in the new american standard the devil and deceive were thrown to lake and fire and brimstone okay and we read that in this version the lake of fire and theo so brimstone is the word it's actually the word uh i can go back into strong's t-h-e-i-o-n and actually properly and when you actually look at it it's where the word theo god is so they've turned it into sulfur because sulfur was a substance that was for purification mm. so, so they've written it using an original word uh which actually talked about god that's that's the root of it mm. you know but you know, unfortunately um we're two thousand years on and when you read these things it's quite difficult when you read it in the right context uh the wrong context to actually look at that um, so if you look at some of the other words there um, and particularly the one which is for torment and you look at the word torment uh, and you, you sort of go into strong's concordance and you look at the original you know this is where it says okay tormenting trial okay then you say it says properly to examine to test mm -hmm. not to torment you mm -hmm. don't torment gold to test it mm -hmm. you examine it to see if it's pure you don't mm -hmm. torment it but unfortunately literally torture see to examine and then there's a literary where we're using torture well actually the original word didn't mean torture it meant to test as a touchstone and you know literally properly and this is like you go into the greek lexicon of thayers which is a greek sort of a guy who translated and used a dictionary for greek it says this thayers greek lexicon one properly and whenever you hear it say properly or read it say properly it means this is what it actually means okay to test metals by the touchstone that's what it meant then it mm -hmm. sends the second thing said oh oh to torture mm -hmm. but actually the original didn't mean that yeah. but they've taken it to mean that because oh well that fits into being cast into fire well what was fire for to purify and refine that was what fire was for in in the old testament it talks about god coming like a refiner's fire and a fuller soap to purify and refine so the fire of god's love is not to torture or torment 
but to purify and refine. People may feel tormented by it, but it's self-torment because they realize that they're there in this place because of what they've chosen to do. You know, and unfortunately, we have a modern translation into English, which has a preconceived idea with what a lot of these things mean. Rather than the Greek could mean various things and what and the actual original meaning of Greek was not to torture, but to test by fire, a touchstone to test the purity of a metal, what the word literally meant. But we've got a figurative meaning of the word. Oh, well, that must mean torture. Well, you don't torture metal. You just test it. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.